Neuromodulation is the physiological process by which a given neuron uses one or more neurotransmitters to regulate diverse populations of neurons. This is in contrast to classical synaptic transmission, in which one presynaptic neuron directly influences a single postsynaptic partner. Neuromodulators secreted by a small group of neurons diffuse through large areas of the nervous system, affecting multiple neurons. Major neuromodulators in the central nervous system include dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, histamine, and norepinephrine. Neuromodulation can be conceptualized as a neurotransmitter that is not reabsorbed by the presynaptic neuron or broken down into a metabolite. Such neuromodulators end up spending a significant amount of time in the cerebrospinal fluid, influencing the activity of several other neurons in the brain. For this reason, some neurotransmitters are also considered to be neuromodulators, such as serotonin and acetylcholine. Neuromodulation is often contrasted with classical fast synaptic transmission. In both cases the transmitter acts on local postsynaptic receptors, but in neuromodulation, the receptors are typically G-protein coupled receptors while in classical chemical neurotransmission, they are ligand-gated ion channels. Neurotransmission that involves metabotropic receptors often also involves voltage-gated ion channels, and is relatively slow. Conversely, neurotransmission that involves exclusively ligand-gated ion channels is much faster. A related distinction is also sometimes drawn between modulator and driver synaptic inputs to a neuron, but here the emphasis is on modulating ongoing neuronal spiking versus causing that spiking. Neuromuscular systems, neuromodulators may alter the output of a physiological system by acting on the associated inputs. However, modeling work suggests that this alone is insufficient because the neuromuscular transformation from neural input to muscular output may be tuned for particular ranges of input. Stern Ale suggests that neuromodulators must act not only on the input system but must change the transformation itself to produce the proper contractions of muscles as output. Volume Transmission Neurotransmitter systems are systems of neurons in the brain expressing certain types of neurotransmitters, and thus form distinct systems. Activation of the system causes effects in large volumes of the brain, called volume transmission. Volume transmission is the diffusion through the brain extracellular fluid of neurotransmitters released at points that may be remote from the target cells with the resulting activation of extrasynaptic receptors, and with a longer time course than for transmission at a single synapse. The major neurotransmitter systems, the major neurotransmitter systems are the noradrenaline system, the dopamine system, the serotonin system and the cholinergic system. Drugs targeting the neurotransmitter of such systems affects the whole system, and explains the mode of action of many drugs. Most other neurotransmitters, on the other hand, for example glutamate, GABA and glycine, are used very generally throughout the central nervous system. Equals comparison equals equals no adrenaline system equals further reading norepinephrine norepinephrine system the noradrenaline system consists of just 1500 neurons on each side of the brain primarily in the locus coeruleus this is diminutive compared to the more than 100 billion neurons in the brain as with dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra neurons in the locus coeruleus tend to be melanin pigmented in spite of their small number when activated the system plays major roles in the brain, as seen in table above. More adrenaline is released from the neurons, and acts on adrenergic receptors. Equals dopamine system equals, further reading, dopamine functions in the brain. The dopamine or dopaminergic system consists of several pathways, originating from the ventral tegmentum or substantia nigra as examples. It acts on dopamine receptors. Parkinson's disease is at least in part related to dropping out of dopaminergic cells and deep brain nuclei, primarily the melanin pigmented neurons in the substantia nigra but secondarily the noradrenergic neurons of the locus coeruleus. Treatments potentiating the effect of dopamine precursors have been proposed and effected, with moderate success. Dopamine pharmacology, cocaine, for example, blocks the reuptake of dopamine, leaving these neurotransmitters in the synaptic gap longer. 
AMPT prevents the conversion of tyrosine to LDOPA, the precursor to dopamine. Recipine prevents dopamine storage within vesicles. And deprenyl inhibits monoamine oxidase B and thus increases dopamine levels. Equals serotonin system equals, further reading, serotonin gross anatomy, the serotonin created by the brain comprises around 10% of total body serotonin. The majority is found in the gastrointestinal tract. It travels around the brain along the medial forebrain bundle and acts on serotonin receptors. In the peripheral nervous system serotonin regulates vascular tone. Serotonin pharmacology, Prozac or fluoxetine, a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, is a widely used antidepressant that blocks the reuptake of serotonin. Although changes in neurochemistry are found immediately after taking an antidepressant, symptoms will not begin to improve until four to six weeks after administration. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors are thought to change the rate of oxidation of biogenic amines within the brain. A lack of oxidation means that more neurotransmitters are available for release into synapses. MOAIs take several weeks to alleviate the symptoms of depression. Tricyclic antidepressants block the reuptake of biogenic amines from the synapse, back into the neuron. They typically take four to six weeks to alleviate any symptoms of depression. They are considered to have immediate and long-term effects. Equals GABA equals, gamma aminobutyric acid has an inhibitory effect on brain and spinal cord activity. Equals neuropeptides equals, opioid peptides a large family of endogenous neuropeptides that are widely distributed throughout the central and peripheral nervous system. Opiate drugs such as heroin and morphine act at the receptors of these neurotransmitters. Endorphins, enkephalins, dynorphins, substance P. Other uses, neuromodulation also refers to an emerging class of medical therapies that target the nervous system for restoration of function, relief of pain, or control of symptoms such as tremor seen in movement disorders like Parkinson's disease. The therapies consist primarily of targeted electrical stimulation, or infusion of medications into the cerebrospinal fluid using intrathecal drug delivery, such as baclofen for spasticity. Electrical stimulation devices include deep brain stimulation systems, colloquially referred to as brain pacemakers, spinal cord stimulators, which are implanted using minimally invasive procedures, or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation devices, which are fully external, among others. See also, 5-HT2C receptor agonist. References External links, North American Neuromodulation Society, Neuromodulation and Neural Plasticity, International Neuromodulation Society, Scalopedia article on neuromodulation.